Hey, how's it going? I'm full of a cold and today on Early Midlife Crisis, I take a look at the brand new production model of Lichtlam Audio's Total Distortion Worship Distortion Pedal. <laughs> The Total Distortion Worship pedal came out earlier this year and was a collaborative effort between Lichtlam Audio and Cult Effects, and they were limited and sold out quickly. But Lichtlam Audio have now brought out a production version of this pedal, and it's slightly different. I never had the first version, the one, the Cult Effects limited one. I only have this one, and therefore this one's better. I don't make the rules, sorry, that's just how it is. No, but in all seriousness, there's a few small differences between them. First of all, the aesthetic's different. It has a different faceplate, which I personally prefer. I think this looks better. It's more in line with the other Lichtlem audio pedals. And the other differences are this one has more low end and more gain. And St. Malmsteen, the patron saint of guitar excessiveness, told us more is more and therefore better. Also, the boost circuit was changed a little bit. This boost circuit is based on the King and Yellow, which is the finest thing you can smack an amp in the face with. I want to start this video with a bit of a hot take, and that is, I'm not really interested in distortion pedals. I don't really care much for them because last time I used them is about one and a half decades ago when I was a teenager and we didn't know what we were doing. So we take bad distortion pedals, crank the gain and smack them into clean channels of bad amplifiers. So I've never really looked at them since. And now you're probably asking yourself, why are you making a video on one? Thing is, Daniel at Lichtlem Audio has a Midas touch. Everything he touches turns to gold. I haven't played a single Lichtlem Audio product that I didn't absolutely love. So when he asked me if I wanted to do a demo video on one, this seemed like the perfect opportunity to challenge my own views and maybe change my mind. And that brings me to the next topic. This video needs to be considered a sponsored video because Lichtlam Audio sent me this pedal. Based on previous interactions, I don't assume they want this pedal back. Those previous interactions usually went a bit like this. Uh, guys, uh, when do you want this pedal back? And Danny would say, piss off. Not really. That was an exaggeration for comedic effect. Daniel chose much nicer words because he's just a lovely person. I considered him a friend, so those are two potential conflicts of interest you as a viewer should know of. But I believe the second one works out in your favor because friends don't let friends bring out crappy products. And this is anything but. This is awesome. It's a lot of fun. I'll show you in a sec. What I want to do in this video is I want to go over the controls of the pedal really briefly. Then I want to use it as a distortion pedal into the front end of this EVH 515351. Then I want to use it how I would usually use a pedal like this as a preamp. So I'm going to slam it into the effects loop return of the EVH 5150 and use it as a preamp. And then to finish it off, I want to line up the total distortion worship into the EVH, whichever way I prefer, and a B test it against my favorite amp, the Lichtlam Audio Prometheus behind me right here. Now, this pedal isn't designed to sound like a smooth, pleasant distortion. It's designed to sound disgusting, but with transparency and clarity. So the goal is not to make them sound the same because they probably won't, but to give you a tonal reference to judge this pedal by. All right, that's enough talking. Let me get a guitar and let's get into it. Right, as usual, I have the pedal mounted with the world's finest engineering material, tape. And before we get going, let's take a quick look at the pedal. It consists of two parts. There is the main distortion circuit, and then there's an additional boost circuit. We have an onboard noise gate based on the key and gate, which is probably a good feature to have because all the gain and the distortion of the world is probably not much use if it comes with all the world's screaming feedback. We have a level knob, a gain knob, pretty self-explanatory. Then we have a cut control, which is kind of a staple of Lichtlam Audio circuits. It's on the Prometheus amp as well and several of their pedals. And what that does is it uh, carves out yeah, some of the low-end frequencies going into the circuit. So you can really fine-tune the response of the pedal or the amplifier, if you're using the Prometheus, to, to suit your needs. You can have it sound really tight or thick and sludgy. The boost circuit is based on the king in yellow. We have a boost knob, I guess that's the level, and we have a focus knob, which isn't part of the original king in yellow, if my memory serves me correct. 
But it does remind me of the focus switch on the Prometheus. And what that did was it boosted certain frequencies. And this knob feels similarly. And I'll go through that in a sec. This, dear viewer, is a clean channel and serves two purposes and two purposes only. The first one being creating a cool dynamic contrast before the coolest part of the song hits. And the second is for distortion pedals. Let's kick this on. That's pretty gnarly to begin with, and I want to start with the most prominent feature on this, which is the permanent the permanently illuminated slider EQ here. And these this EQ is so powerful it's not even funny anymore. I find it quite terrifying. Let's go through the bands briefly with some mid well mid gain if it does that. It has notches in the middle, so it slips into the center position easily. So the way I like this is with some of the highs out, I don't like too extreme settings on this slider gate. I like some mids, I like honky sound. As you can see, I'm just making tiny movements here because I'm terrified of, I'm terrified of ZQ. So level and gain are pretty self-explanatory. Let's check this out. You've put the gain all the way down. This doesn't do low gain. Let's max that shit. Cut feature makes it sound tight. Let's go all the way down with cut. And the cut feature takes out a lot of the low end frequencies, so the gain won't be as effective anymore. When you use more cut, you might want to use more gain or more level to compensate for that. I think right around the middle is where it sounds best. What I think is remarkable about this pedal is that it has a really aggressive distortion sound. Like it's not smooth like a typical tube amp distortion sound, but it's really clear and transparent. You can hear all the all the notes. <laughs> They, the notes don't wash into each other at all. Everyone is audible. I think that's cool. Let's 
get to the fun part. Let's add the boost. Oh, uh, dial this down and have the boost somewhere in the middle. And that almost sounds like it reduces gain. And I think that has to do with the focus now. Let's dial this up. Yeah, it's funny, it has the negative effect. Let's dial this down, let's dial up the focus. And it gets more disgusting there and it adds more high end. It's boosting the higher frequencies there, which makes me want to reduce the cut a bit. This is so much fun in the room, it sounds so thick and aggressive, but yes, so clear, like... That's why it has the gate, unless you're into that shit, no judgement. Let's max this out. See how filthy and disgusting we can get this to sound. This is so stupid, but it's so much fun. Good clean, no, good dirty fun. Um. <laughs> but oh this is so much fun <laughs> let me try this as a preamp and go into the effects return of the evh going in the back door um see how it works as a preamp 
Okay, more level. Immediately it's much darker, so let's up some of the high mids and the highs. Sounds awesome too. It's a bit too aggressive. much fun. I have no idea how it's going to sound under the microphone, but oh, in the room, this is the most fun I've had playing guitar in ages. Oh, I think it works great as a preamp and a distortion pedal. So what I want to do next is I'm going to set up my KHG amp switcher, the Prometheus, which is behind me, and then AB between the EVH with the <laughs> Total Distortion Worship, which is an aptly chosen name, I realize now, and the Prometheus high gain sound. So bear with me in a minute. All right, all set up once again. I have the Total Distortion Worship in the EVH up here and the Prometheus below it as a reference, connected to this KHE ACS 4x4 amp switcher. LED 1 is the 5150 with the uh, Total Distortion Worship and LED 2 for the amplifier here is the Prometheus. And let's see how they compare. I'm Oh yeah, I've decided to use the Total Distortion Worship as intended by the creator uh, into the clean channel of the EVH instead of the effects loop. And it sounds like this. And the Prometheus sounds like this. Cable on the foot switch, the Prometheus sounds like this. Okay, the Prometheus sounds more organic and thicker, which surprises me. It's 
crazy how your ears play tricks on you, or my ears play tricks on me at least. So let's see if we get more thickness. Let's see if we can get more thickness into the total distortion worship. Prometheus compresses different than the than the pedal, but again, I I have to repeat myself. They're not meant to sound the same. The <laughs> the Prometheus is an organic, beautiful two band of fire. While the Total Distortion Worship, well, I wonder how often I'm going to trip over that. My tongue will trip over that for the rest of this video. It is designed to sound nasty, but with authority. Yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. It's nasty and disgusting and ugly, but with authority and it's a oh, stupid fun. <laughs> I think I'm willing to call it a day. What can I say about the Lichtlärm Audio Total Distortion Worship Distortion Pedal? Uh, I did change my mind a bit on distortion pedals because I'm honestly not sure how I would use this for my own musical projects. But then tone-wise, I have to say, I am a very basic bitch. I tend to go for the same tones. And this is a little different. This is... How to put it? <laughs> It's yeah, it's ugly, but with authority, and it it has so much clarity. It keeps it it keeps the notes so well together. And honestly, I haven't had this much fun playing guitar in I can't remember when. It's just good, not clean fun. Really great pedal. And look how cool the boxes look that Lichtlärm Audio have now. Can you see that on camera? Huh? 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 Those are really cool. So. Go to lichtlärmaudio.com, check out the Total Distortion Worship. I think it's about 280, 290 euros, something like that. Um, does it sound like the Prometheus? No, but the Prometheus costs 10 times as much. Does the Prometheus sound 10 times better? I don't think so. I love them both. And uh, I'm definitely going to go full knuckle dragon with the Total Distortion Worship just for recreational purposes now and then because it's, it's so much fun. It's so versatile. Really cool pedal. Thank you so much, Lichtlam Audio and Danny, for sending me this pedal. I know I'm a little late with the video. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.